हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस स्किन डेप फॉर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स इन ए कंडक्टिंग मीडियम लेट्स वेगेन व्हेन एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव इज प्रोपागेटिंग थ्रू ए कंडक्टिंग मीडियम देन इट ई पेनेट्रेट्स a distance across that of conducting medium in technically we call it as skin depth or penetration depth here we derive a expression for skin depth when an electromagnetic wave is propagating through a conducting medium in the previous video lecture we have already derived the wave equation for a conducting medium when that electromagnetic waves propagating through that of conducting medium the wave equations in terms of e vector and in terms of s vector the solutions of such type of wave equations as e vector is equal to e naught vector e to the power i k dot r minus omega t equation number 3 and solution of that equation number 2 in terms of s s vector is equal to s naught vector e to the power i k dot r minus omega t equation number 4 these two are the wave equations for electromagnetic waves propagating through that of conducting medium these two are the solutions of corresponding equations now putting that a solution in that of equation number 1 we can write here equation number 1 uh, change to then equation 1 becomes instead of for e we substitute its solution result okay this grad square e vector mu sigma del e by del t minus mu epsilon del square e <coughs> del t square is equal to 0 look here instead of uh, putting e as that mos we can easily write by taking the operator form as you know that the uh, grad operator is equal to i k vector and del by del t operator is equal to minus i omega if uh, anybody can putting that value and uh, again differentiating what result obtained simply by taking the operator uh, form in that of expression 
we can easily achieve that result that's why grad square e grad dot grad e minus mu sigma in place of del by del t minus i omega e vector minus mu epsilon here del by del t of uh, del e vector del t as it is del square e by del t square using the operator form i k vector dot i k vector e vector minus minus plus i mu sigma omega e vector minus mu epsilon here exactly we can use in place of del by del t minus i omega again del by del t minus i omega e is equal to 0 therefore that is e vector i square k vector plus i mu sigma omega e vector minus minus plus but i square is equal to minus 1 therefore minus minus plus overall we have plus mu epsilon omega square e vector is equal to 0 here i square is equal to minus 1 minus k here k dot k k dot k as k square k square e vector plus i mu sigma omega e vector plus mu epsilon omega square e vector is equal to 0 e vector as common minus k square plus i mu sigma omega plus mu epsilon omega square common term e vector is equal to 0 let equation number 5 similarly by taking equation number 2 and uh, proceeding in this manner we can have similarly from equation 2 proceeding in same manner we get in terms of s as minus k square plus i mu sigma omega plus mu epsilon omega square s vector is equal to 0 that is equation number 6 look here e and uh, s not equal to 0 therefore that bracket term will be 0 from equation 5 and 6 from equation 5 
and the six it is the clear that that bracket term minus k square plus i mu sigma omega plus mu epsilon omega square is equal to 0 or k square to that side therefore k square is equal to mu epsilon omega square plus i mu sigma omega or k square is equal to taking common term mu epsilon omega square in that of bracket we have 1 plus i omega uh, sorry i sigma divided by epsilon omega An equation number seven. Clearly, looking to that of equation, that k is a complex one, as i will be there. From this equation from this equation 7 it is clear that k is complex and it is written as that is k is equal to alpha plus i beta. Since k is complex, then we write in terms of complex as alpha plus i beta. Alpha is the real part, beta is the imaginary part. Then k square is equal to alpha square plus i square beta square plus uh, 2 alpha into i beta we have k square is equal to alpha square i square as minus 1 beta square plus i 2 alpha beta that is the real part this one as imaginary part that is equation number 8 here k square is equal to that much and k square is equal to this as uh, we write in that of complex form. Comparing equation 7 and 8, comparing equation 7 and 8, so the real part alpha square minus beta square is equal to its real part mu epsilon omega square and its imaginary part 2 alpha beta 2 alpha beta is equal to that term multiplied in that of i coefficient epsilon epsilon cancel out 1 omega 1 omega cancel out that one is mu sigma omega alpha square minus beta square is equal to that much 2 alpha beta is equal to this therefore using a property as alpha square plus beta square whole square that is alpha square minus beta square whole square plus 4 alpha square beta square a plus b whole square is equal to a minus b whole square plus 4 a b in order to calculate alpha square plus beta square we use that formula 
putting these values alpha square minus beta square that is mu epsilon omega square whole square plus 2 alpha beta then 4 alpha square beta square that is mu sigma omega whole square here we take uh, common as uh, mu epsilon omega square whole square in that of uh, bracket 1 plus sigma divided by omega epsilon whole square or simply alpha square plus beta square is equal to under root of that term under root of this term as mu sigma omega square 1 plus sigma omega epsilon square it's under root looking that alpha square minus beta square let i prefer equation number i and alpha square plus beta square taking equation number double i in order to calculate the value of alpha and beta we have to add equation number one and equation number two adding equation i and double i we get adding these two equations beta square minus beta square cancelled out we obtain 2 alpha square is equal to mu epsilon omega square plus mu epsilon omega square pull into 1 plus sigma divided by omega epsilon whole square under root is equal to common term mu epsilon omega square bracket 1 plus 1 plus sigma divided by omega epsilon whole square now this is 2 alpha square we have to calculate alpha first 2 is divided then taking its under root that is mu epsilon omega square divided by 2 and its under root next one plus one plus sigma omega epsilon whole square under root to the power half ok or alpha is equal to simplifying that term omega square under root omega mu epsilon divided by 2 under root into 1 plus 1 plus sigma omega epsilon square under root to the power half let equation number uh, third i similarly by putting the value of alpha or uh, generally subtracting from this equation to that equation we can easily get the value of beta similarly we get beta is equal to omega mu epsilon divided by 2 under root into 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon whole square under root plus 1 to the power half equation number iv here 
value of alpha and value of beta is derived. What is alpha and beta? This is a notation form as we write k vector in terms of complex one. Alpha is the real part and beta is the imaginary part. That is for k vector. Now, using k vector as its magnitude and direction k vector magnitude and direction magnitude alpha plus i beta n cap its direction therefore therefore electromagnetic field vectors therefore the electromagnetic electro magnetic field vectors e vector and s vector take uh, the form as we write e vector as e naught vector e to the power i k dot r minus omega t in place of k we substitute that value that is e naught e to the power i in place of uh, k alpha plus i beta n cap dot r vector minus omega t now separating uh, the terms as e naught e to the power i alpha n cap dot r vector into e to the power i to i i square i square beta n cap dot r vector minus omega t minus omega t look that one i square as minus 1 therefore we have uh, e naught into that as uh, e to the power this is i omega t this is uh, minus i omega t so from these uh, two terms that exponential term as e to the power minus beta n cap dot r vector into e to the power here i alpha n cap dot r vector minus omega t this is for what this is for e vector e vector is equal to e naught into this is an equation number that uh, equation number 9 similarly similarly for s vector we have this is e naught vector h naught vector e to the power minus beta n cap dot r vector into e to the power i taking as common alpha n cap dot r vector minus omega t equation number 10 what uh, we are uh, now doing first we take uh, the wave equation for electromagnetic waves when it is uh, propagating through that of conducting medium e vector in terms of uh, next in terms of s vector and its solution and uh, its solution is put at k is a complex 
then by using that uh, complex concept we proceed and finally obtain the value of alpha and beta and k vector so e vector change to this and s vector is change to this look here that one as the amplitude and that amplitude is gradually decreasing as r increases it is clear therefore we can say when an electromagnetic wave is propagating through a conducting medium then that uh, intensity of electric field or magnetic field gradually decreases and at which distance the electromagnetic waves propagating through that of uh, conducting medium is called as skin depth or penetration depth here beta we call it as the attenuation constant here beta we call it as attenuation constant its value gradually decreased let me define what is skin depth and the expression for skin depth from equation number 9 and uh, 10 from equation 9 and uh, 10 we have when when n cap dot r vector is equal to let we call it as delta which is equal to n dot r 1 by beta that is the condition then what happened then the amplitude of that electric field the amplitude of that electric field e vector that is e naught is amplitude e naught into e to the power minus beta n cap dot r vector that becomes e naught into e to the power minus 1 as we use that condition that one as equal to e naught divided by e solving it we have 0 0.369 into e naught so the intensity of that of electric field decreased to that one let me define it we define it how to define the distance the distance delta at which the amplitude of the plane wave falls to how much 1 by e 1 by e of its value at the surface is known as skin depth is known as skin depth or penetration depth penetration depth 
the distance at which the amplitude of plane wave falls to 1 by e the value of that of surface is known as skin depth or penetration depth how much uh, it will be fall that is 1 by e that is delta is equal to 1 by beta or delta is equal to 1 by value of beta as we have uh, derived this is the value of beta is putted omega mu epsilon 2 under root bracket 1 plus sigma whole square minus 1 to the power half or delta is equal to 2 divided by mu epsilon omega square under root that omega to that of under root then it will be omega square 1 plus sigma omega epsilon square under root minus 1 in that of numerator side it will be minus half for a good conductor for a good conductor the quantity sigma divided by omega epsilon is much much greater than 1 that's why 1 can be neglected then delta will be 2 divided by mu epsilon omega square under root into sigma divided by omega epsilon to the power minus half therefore the expression for skin depth delta is equal to 2 divided by mu sigma omega under root that is the expression for skin depth this is the expression for skin depth when the EM waves propagating through conducting medium. From that expression it is clear that skin depth is inversely proportional to the square root of the product of omega and sigma omega that is frequency and sigma with the conductivity therefore we say what is the expression for skin depth when electromagnetic wave is propagating through that of conducting medium so here with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of skin depth for electromagnetic waves in a conducting medium by changing we can show how electric field and magnetic field changed under that condition the distance at which amplitude of plane wave falls to 1 by e of its original value or that of surface is called skin depth or penetration depth that be the expression for a good conductor expression for skin depth so with this useful
and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you